Do you have a laser engraver that keeps disconnecting from the program? Watch this video. We have a solution for you. We have been very busy using our laser engraver. We have several videos on the channels uh, you can check out. We have the links down below, different project ideas, different tips and tricks. But just recently, our machine kept disconnecting from the program. We'd be running a nice uh, burn and we'd go out and check on it and it would, had a disconnect error. And so Ross did some research and found out it's a static issue. To be honest, I ha do not understand it but luckily Ross does. So in the video, Ross shows you how you can run uh, what he's calling a bond wire on your machine so that you can uh, solve the problem. Again, I don't quite understand it, but luckily Ross does. So watch the video and watch how you can solve the problem of your machine disconnecting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check continuity between the base and the X and Y axis. I'm using a volt ohm meter and I'm reading the ohms right now. If there's no continuity, they'll just read one, as you can see on the meter. If there's continuity, it will read zero, zero, um, as it did before. So that means there's a pathway um, for electrical charge to go through the unit. Okay, so now that I found that there's no continuity between the X and Y axis and the uh, base itself, I'm going to uh, attach a bond wire, and that's just a wire that goes from one component to another component to another component. And uh, what we're going to do is just to put a connector on and um, run that wire with the harness and uh, go through the machine and just connect everything up. So I'm going to remove the screw, one of the mounting screws on the frame itself. And um, um, after I do that, the paint doesn't conduct electricity. So I'm just going to scratch that up down to the aluminum. So I have a, uh, a metal to metal uh, connection. So we'll go ahead and get that back on and then connect the uh, wire connector onto that. And that's the first step of what we're going to do. So I'm going to run the wire with the harness and tie wrap that up to it so it's nice and secure. And we're going to go run that all the way to the next connector point. Okay, and as you can see here, uh, we're going to go ahead and just take one of the mounting screws off and do the exact same thing. We're going to scratch up the paint um, and put a connector on the wire and go from point A to point B and then we'll ultimately go to where the laser is and that would be point C. As you can see, it's important to get the uh, wire ran with the existing harness. That makes sure that uh, when the machine is running, that the harness and the bond wire are all running together and you don't have any uh, loose wires and getting caught on uh, any of the equipment. Okay, so we're at the laser head and we're doing the same exact thing. We're scraping off the paint to make sure that uh, we get down to the aluminum. Uh, stick that connector on there. We'll have a continuous bond through all the axes and the base. And once that's done, that should relieve any static charge that might be going on from the laser itself. That's where we think that's originating from.
Okay, once that's done, we're going to check for continuity between everything. We should have zero, zero on everything, just like that. So there's, so checking the base to the first axis and then to the uh, laser head. And you can see that everything is uh, has continuity through it. So any uh, electrical charge or any static charge that might be go through will come back down to the uh, base. And then the uh, power cord plug-in will take that all back to the uh, ground on your house wiring system. Okay, we've ran the machine probably roughly about 100 hours since the bond, and uh, we haven't had any uh, issues as far as the uh, program shutting down, and it seems to have cured the problem. So it just uh, apparently it just was a bond problem. And always thanks for watching DIY on the house. If you enjoyed the video, uh, just uh, ask you to give us a couple thumbs up. Appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, uh, we're always happy to uh, answer anything you have. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we appreciate it. And thanks for watching DIY on the house.